I'm here at CES 2013, and we have here the latest generation of LEGO Mindstorms. It's the third generation, and it's been around for 15 years. And it's really remarkable, all the different sensors and things that can be added to what essentially is a child's toy. Uh, we're going to give a, a little demonstration here. They have a roulette wheel set up with one, two, three, four different uh, little creations to show you how they all work together. So first we're going to take these little chips here and put on these little light sensors. And next, this guy's going to go into action. Fire away. And he's going to launch a little thing and hit that sensor there. Slowly, here he goes, getting in position. And he fires, and it spins the wheel there, the roulette wheel. And now it ends up on green. And then it comes back to here, and here it is. Lucky player, green, you win. And then this guy just came ahead to give me my prize. It's a nice little Lego chip. And finally, the last robot comes and cleans it all off for the next player. Now, Mindstorms have been used in all sorts of different uh, capacities uh, for all different age groups. And this is just the latest example of what you can do. They even now have Android and iOS apps, so you can control other robots, such as these here. Oh, this one, I, ah, this one has a little sensor here. Look at that. Ouch! And you can control it using your phone. So if you're just... If, so she's shaking the phone right now and it's moving on. So it's pretty neat all the different things you can do with Mindstorms. Uh, and I kind of want to set for myself. This is Mike Prospero for Last